Hey everyone, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. Again, I have brought to you this video where we will be discussing a lot of interesting questions from the daily current. So let's begin this video quickly. But before that, I would like to announce that you can get the PDF on the Telegram channel, and the link of the Telegram channel is in description below. Also, if you like this video, then do not forget to subscribe our channel before uh, going away from the video after completing this video. Okay, subscribe to the channel ko if you like this video, if you like the content that we provide to you. Okay, so here we have the first question with which payment service provider has Indian Institute of Foreign Trade signed an MOU for establishing the Indian uh, Digital Trade Facilitation Forum for MSME. PayPal, PhonePay, Paytm, Google Pay, Amazon Pay are in the options out of which PayPal is the right answer. So PayPal and the Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, both of them have a partner signed this MOU to increase the knowledge base of MSMEs. And how are they going to increase the knowledge base by providing them education, training and capacity building through webinars and master classes. Now, not only increasing the knowledge base of the MSMEs is the target of this forum but also it will include the resolution of export related problems of the msm okay so if the exports are boosted then obviously the market outreach of the msmes will be enhanced so these are the purposes of this forum i hope that you have understood which of the following app has been launched by aims for children to help them develop good oral health practices Dental King, Tooth Heaven, Healthy Smile, Bright Smile, Smile More. Here the right answer is Healthy Smile. So this is the application that has been developed by AIMS, All India Institute of Medical Science. Basically, the Department of Pediatric and Preventive Dentistry has developed this application and the basic purpose is to teach the children about the good oral practices, okay, oral health practices. Now, the point of importance is this, that under the Pradhan Mantri Swastha, Suraksha Yojana, the government aims to establish 22 AIMS hospitals across the country. Okay. And presently, according to the government, all the 22 AIMS hospitals that the scheme envisages to establish are in different stages of development already. Okay. So do remember this thing that the focus or the target set by this scheme is this 22 AIMS hospitals. Can you tell me in which year was the scheme launched? In the comment section below. This is your question that I am asking you. Which central public sector enterprise has launched the UFIL platform? Sale BPSL HP IUC Bay. Out of these, BPSL is the right answer. Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited. So basically, you can use this UFIL platform in order to purchase your fuel online. How will you purchase your fuel online? How can you refill your petroleum tank online? That must be the question in your minds right now. So let me clarify that, that customers will pay for the fuel purchase online even before entering the premise, okay? For example, if I want to fuel, uh, fill the petrol in my car, then I will just uh, uh, log in in this platform and book or and pay for the fuel the set quantity of fuel in advance and when I reach the point of sale I, when I reach the BPCL outlet I won't have to indulge in any kind of um, in any kind of conversation or in any kind of transaction with the staff of the petrol pump okay because I have already paid so at the dispensing unit when the petroleum will be filled in my car the uh, prerequisite quantity is already set in that dispensing unit and that unit will provide me will fill the petroleum tank with the quantity for which I have already paid so this will reduce the physical contact as well as delay at the point of sale outlets and remember that it will work only on the BPCL outlet now it is launched in 65 cities across India and the plan is to launch it across the country By which year does the global roadmap to defeat meningitis of WHO aim to reduce the deaths by bacterial meningitis by 70%? So here the right answer is 2030. First of all, let me inform you about the news itself. So during an event 
in geneva who adopt the global road map on uh, defeating the meningitis disease now what is this disease this is basically a swelling in your brain and spinal cords internal membrane okay so this is a swelling there and it is usually or majorly in most of the cases it is triggered by a bacterial or viral infection that becomes or that the bacterial or viral infection makes it more vulnerable more fatal okay therefore in order to defeat this disease in order to reduce the number of cases as well as deaths by this disease by 2030 the global road map has been launched by who i hope that this much is clear now how many deaths are there due to this disease so guys 2 lakh 50000 people die in a year due to this meningitis disease it is a very fatal disease i must say okay now the epidemics of this disease have broken out in different regions of the world in the past decade but the most vulnerable region or the meningitis belt spans across 26 countries of the sub saharan africa so this is the most vulnerable area for this epidemic now we have discussed a lot about the disease itself what are the what are the points focal points of this road map that will be used to reduce this disease okay so the very first focus is to eliminate the epidemics of bacterial meningitis and reduce the number of deaths by 70% and half the number of cases the strategy could save 2 lakh lives annually more than 2 lakh lives the focus will be on developing vaccines in order to prevent this disease from happening and improve prevention strategies and outbreak response speedy diagnosis and optimal treatment of the patients is also another focus of this road map moving on to the next question which of the following facility has been launched by phone pay in association with npci bharat bill pay limited to enable hassle free online payment of recurring bills so here you have one to pay pay at once um, click to pay easy pay click pay the right answer is click pay this is the facility launched by phone pay with npci bharat bill pay so basically via this facility the biller for example let's take the example of electricity bill so in delhi we have the electricity of tata so tata will send us the link by clicking on that link i will be directed to the tata's website the payment page directly so what is the benefit here the benefit is that i don't have to enter the details of tata company again and again for example my electricity registration number or whatever is there whatever the uh, requirements are there so i don't have to enter it again and again this is being done by the biller itself so this is reducing the hassle of the customer therefore this has been launched by the npci bharat bill pay limited with phone pay okay so that is all about this who has been appointed as a new chairman of the indian bank association so here the right answer is ak goyal who is at present the md and ceo of uco bank guys uco bank has been removed from which list of rbi tell me that in the comment section below i have taught you this already so tell me that yugo bank has been removed from a very important list of rbi which list i am talking about list or should i say framework now i know that majority of you have guessed the answer so if you have guessed it then mention it also in the comment section below i will reply to it whether it is right or not okay so more about iba so iba is the nodal agency for implementing the bad bank in india okay national asset reconstruction company limited who is the minister of forest and environment in meghalaya the right answer is james sangma i know that you must be thinking that ab state ministers bhi padhne padenge aur unhe bhi yaad rakhna padega so let me tell you guys that this question has come up from a very important news and that news is that this person james sangma has got the peta india award 2021 that's why this question is here okay so this is how you have to prepare for your exam keep your horizons wider and then prepare any kind of news that is there in front of you okay so the reason for getting the award is because he obtained leather he produced leather from pineapple instead of animals 
that is why because of this vegan leather he has got this award now the state is also planning the state of meghalaya is planning to establish a climate change museum but this is still a plan however it sounds interesting therefore i have put it here but do remember that meghalaya government is planning to do such kind of a thing but when it does i will provide you with the information so guys that was all about today's video and if you have liked the video then do not forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much